precious teacher. I love you so much. May Allah bless you, Sister Khadija. Where are you calling from? Which state? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm crying. I'm in the United States. What I'm state? I'm in Tennessee. You're Tennessee, Chattanooga, right? Uh, I'm near there, but I live in a city that's full of violence, crime, drugs, alcohol, party. Too bad, too bad. Um, and I... I was abandoned here by the person that was going to drive me home, but they never did. They just took my money. And um, <laughs> La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. I'm really sorry to alone. hear that. <laughs> uh, I've been living alone for the last uh, almost four years. Uh, the city's not safe at all. Move out. And I, I wear a hijab, and I will not dare go without it. I'm a Muslim woman, and that's what I do. Hmm. Um, but I live in complete isolation, and um, I'm wondering if it's. I know mentally it's not healthy, but I'm a very strong woman, hmm. and uh, but I'm wondering if if it's. If it's all right to do this or somehow try to find someone or some way that I can leave here, is it healthy for me? Is it, can I attain freedom from struggle? Ya Khadija, Enter Jana. Do, do you have family in the USA? I don't have family anywhere in the world. I am 100% alone. Oh, I thought I could hear a child next to you or a baby. So you're by yourself. Oh, that is my little service dog. She knows I'm crying and she's trying to console me. <laughs> okay. Why don't you get a cat instead of a dog, Khadija? Can you repeat that? Why don't you get a cat or a kitten instead of a dog? I have a cat too. I, I have a service dog because it's a service animal. Mm. <laughs> Just make sure that when you pray, or, or the dog doesn't stay at home and soils the couch and the rugs with the impurities because you know that you cannot pray where a dog has been. You know that, right? I understand that. Yeah. Yes. Well, if I were you, I would drive to Chattanooga or take an Uber and go to the Islamic Center there and tell them my condition and ask them to help me out. You know, we shouldn't live in a town or a city where there is violence. As long as you're able to pay the rent, somehow we have some income, even if it is a low income, you still can find another place. Go to Texas, okay? Go to, um, go to Dallas, go to Houston, Texas. It will be much better. A lot of people there will be happy to take care of you. You know, do not live in a city which is full of crimes. And mashallah, you're a practicing Muslim woman. And uh, don't forget to keep the dog outside your flat, your apartment, or whatever. Because the Prophet sallallahu alaihi said that the angels do not enter a home in which there is a dog. So dogs which are used for security, for hunting, all of that is permissible. But keep them outdoors. Thank you. May Allah bless you, Sister Khadija. May Allah give you shifa. May Allah strengthen you. May Allah rescue you out of this bad town. Ameen. Chattanooga is, uh, is a place that you need to drive in and drive by during fall. You see a piece of heaven with the colorful trees, mashallah, during fall. May Allah bless you all, my dear viewers. And for